Hello grade 5. Our lesson today is about adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. Estimate fraction sums and differences. Let's estimate 1 over 6 plus 3 over 8. First, place a point at 1 over 6 on the number line. The fraction is between 0 and half but it is closer to the benchmark zero. This fraction is then rounded to zero. Place a point at three over eight on the number line. The fraction is between zero and half, but it is closer to the benchmark half. This fraction is then rounded to half. Add the rounded fractions. Zero plus half is equal to half. You can compare the numerator and the denominator to round the fraction and find a reasonable estimate. Estimate 9 over 10 minus 5 over 8. 9 over 10 is close to 10 over 10, which is equal to 1. So 9 over 10 is rounded to 1. 5 over 8 is close to 4 over 8, which is equal to half. Then round 5 over 8 to half. Now let's subtract. 1 minus half is equal to half. Let's round 2 7 over 8 minus 2 over 5. 7 over 8 is close to 8 over 8, which is equal to 1. 1 and 2 is equal to 3. Then 2 7 over 8 is rounded to 3. And 2 over 5 is rounded to half. 3 minus half is equal to 2 and a half. Now let's estimate 1 8 over 9 plus 4 8 over 10. Both 8 over 9 and 8 over 10 are close to 1. So 1 8 over 9 is rounded to 2 and 4 8 over 10 is rounded to 5. 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. Common denominator and equivalent fractions. You can use a common denominator or a common multiple of two or more denominators to write fractions that name the same part of the whole. Sarah planted two one-acre gardens. One had three sections of flowers and the other had four sections of flowers. She plans to divide both gardens into more sections so that they have the same number of equal sized sections. How many sections will each garden have? One way to find the common denominator is to multiply the denominators. 3 times 4 is equal to 12, so a common denominator of 1 over 3 and 1 over 4 is 12. To write 1 over 3 as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 12, multiply the numerator and denominator by 4. 1 over 3 is equal to 4 over 12. To write 1 over 4 as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 12, multiply the numerator and denominator by 3. 1 over 4 is equal to 3 over 12. Another way is to make a list of the first 8 non-zero multiples of 3 and 4. Multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. The common multiples are 12 and 24. The least common multiple is 12. So use 12 as the common denominator of both fractions. 1 over 4 is equal to 3 over 12, and 1 over 3 is equal to 4 over 12. Find the common denominator of 2 over 3 and 5 over 9. Rewrite the pair of fractions using the common denominator. One way is to multiply the denominators. 3 times 9 is equal to 27. So a common denominator is 27. 2 over 3 is equal to 18 over 27, since I have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 9. And 5 over 9 is equal to 15 over 27, since I have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3 to get a fraction with a denominator of 27. Another way is to write a list of the multiples of 3 and a list of the multiples of 9 and circle the common multiples. The common multiples of 3 and 9 are 9, 18, 
and 27. The least common one is 9. So I'm going to rewrite both fractions as fractions with denominator of 9. 2 over 3 is equal to 6 over 9, since I have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3. And 5 over 9 remains the same. Add and subtract fractions. Steps to follow to add or subtract fractions. 1. Find the common denominator. 2. Use the common denominator to write equivalent fractions with like denominators. 3. Then add or subtract and write your answer in simplest form. Let's add 1 over 4 plus 3 over 8. Let's find the common denominator by multiplying the denominators. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. Then 1 over 4 is equal to 8 over 32. And 3 over 8 is equal to 12 over 32. 8 over 32 plus 12 over 32 is equal to 20 over 32. To write 20 over 32 in simplest form, you must divide both the numerator and the denominator by 4. The answer is 5 over 8. Another way is to make a list of the multiples of 4 and a list of the multiples of 8. The least common multiple is 8. So I'm going to write both fractions as fractions with denominator of 8. 1 over 4 is equal to 2 over 8. 3 over 8 remains the same. 2 over 8 plus 3 over 8 is equal to 5 over 8. Find the sum or difference. Write your answer in simplest form. 5 over 12 plus 1 over 3. The least common multiple of 12 and 3 is 12. 5 over 12 remains the same. I have to multiply 3 by 4 to get 12. So I need to multiply both the numerator and denominator of the fraction 1 over 3 by 4. The answer is 4 over 12. 5 over 12 plus 4 over 12 is equal to 9 over 12. This fraction is not in simplest form. To write it as a fraction in simplest form, I need to divide the numerator and denominator by 3. The answer is 3 over 4. 2 over 5 plus 3 over 7. The least common multiple of 5 and 7 is 35. 2 over 5 is equal to 14 over 35 since I have to multiply 5 by 7 to get 35. So I need to multiply the numerator and denominator by 7. The numerator and the denominator of 3 over 7 must be multiplied by 5. The answer is 15 over 35. 14 over 35 plus 15 over 35 is equal to 29 over 35. This fraction is in simplest form since 29 is prime and 35 is not divisible by 29. Add and subtract mixed numbers. To find the sum or the difference of mixed numbers with unlike denominators, 1. Find the common denominator. 2. Use the common denominator to write equivalent fractions with like denominators. 3. Add or subtract the fractions. 4. Add or subtract the whole numbers. And 5. Write the answer in simplest form. Example. 1 4 over 5 plus 2 1 over 10. A common multiple of 5 and 10 is 10. 1 over 5 is equal to 1 8 over 10. 2 1 over 10 remains the same. 1 8 over 10 plus 2 1 over 10 is equal to 3 9 over 10. Find the sum or difference. Write your answer in simplest form. 2 2 over 9 plus 4 1 over 6. Their common denominator is 36. 2 2 over 9 is equal to 2 8 over 36. And 4 1 over 6 is equal to 4 6 over 36. Their sum is equal to 6, 14 over 36, which is equal to 6, 7 over 18 in simplest form. 11, 7 over 8 minus 9, 5 over 6. Their common denominator is 24. 11, 7 over 8 is equal to 11, 21 over 24. And 9, 5 over 6 is equal to 9, 20 over 24. Their difference is equal to 2, 1 over 24. Subtraction with renaming. To find the difference of mixed numbers with renaming, 1. Find the common denominator, 
2, use the common denominator to write equivalent fractions with like denominators. 3. Rename of the fraction of the first mixed number is less than the fraction of the second one. 4. Find the difference of the fractions. 5. Find the difference of the whole numbers. And 6. Write the answer in simplest form. Example. 2 1 over 2 minus 1 5 over 6. A common denominator of these two fractions is 12. 2 1 over 2 is equal to 2 6 over 12. And 1 5 over 6 is equal to 1 10 over 12. Since 10 over 12 is greater than 6 over 12, we must rename 2 6 over 12. 2 6 over 12 is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 6 over 12. We rename one whole as 12 over 12 and we add it to 6 over 12. We obtain 1, 18 over 12. So, I need now to subtract 1, 10 over 12 from 1, 18 over 12. The answer is 8 over 12 and it is written as 2 over 3 in simplest form. Find the difference, write your answer in simplest form. 4, 1 over 2 minus 3, 4 over 5. A common denominator is 10. 4, 1 over 2 is equal to 4, 5 over 10. And 3, 4 over 5 is equal to 3, 8 over 10. Since 5 over 10 is less than 8 over 10, I need to rename 4, 5 over 10 as 3, 15 over 10. The answer is 7 over 10. 9, 1 over 6 minus 2, 3 over 4. A common denominator is 12. 9, 1 over 6 is equal to 9, 2 over 12. And 2, 3 over 4 is equal to 2, 9 over 12. Since 9 over 12 is greater than 2 over 12, 9, 2 over 12 must be renamed. So I rename 9, 2 over 12 as 8, 14 over 12. Now we subtract 2, 9 over 12 from 8, 14 over 12. The answer is... 6, 5 over 12. Problem solving, practice addition and subtraction. First problem. The Diaz family is cross-country skiing the Big Tree Trails, which have a total length of 4 miles. Yesterday, they skied the 7 over 10 mile Oak Trail. Today, they skied the 3 over 5 mile Pine Trail. If they plan to ski all of the Big Tree Trails, how many more miles do they have left to ski? Addition and subtraction are inverse operations. By working backward and using the same numbers, one operation undoes the other. The number of miles skied yesterday plus the number of miles skied today plus the number of miles they need to ski is equal to the total distance. So 7 over 10 plus 3 over 5 plus m is equal to 4. To find m, we must work backwards. So m is equal to 4 minus 7 over 10 minus 3 over 5. The answer is 2, 7 over 10. So the family has 2, 7 over 10 miles left to ski. The second problem. As part of their study of Native American basket weaving, Leah's class is making wicker baskets. Leah starts with a strip of wicker 36 inches long. From the strip, she first cuts one piece but does not know its length and then cuts a piece that is 6.5 inches long. The piece left is 73 over 4 inches long. What is the length of the first piece she cut from the strip? First, let's write an equation. x plus 6.5 plus 73 over 4 is equal to 36. X is the piece with the unknown length. Now, to find the X, we have to work backward. 36 minus 7, 3 over 4 minus 6, 1 over 2 is equal to X. Let's start by subtracting 7, 3 over 4 from 36. We need to rename 36 as 35, 4 over 4. The answer is 28, 1 over 4. Now let's subtract 6, 2 over 4 from 28, 1 over 4. Since 2 over 4 is greater than 1 over 4, we must rename 28, 1 over 4 as 27, 5 over 4. 
Now let's subtract 6 2 over 4 from 27 5 over 4. The answer is 21 3 over 4. So the length of the first piece she cut from the strip is 21 3 over 4 inches long. Thank you. That's it for now.